basically my job is to get an overview of the template, the geology of the area, what material was deposited where, how long ago, uh, and how, is it, how have the main landforms been developed. Uh, and then look at the soils, which means beyond that template, after that geological framework was in place, how have the soils interacted with the plant communities in different areas uh, to take on their varying characteristics. So if, if trees were removed from an area, especially in, in a site like Camp 1, um, there's a good chance that the soils wouldn't be able to recover there. It's a very slow process that that involves trees falling, organic matter being integrated into the soil to make them productive soils, uh, and they're just barely getting to the point where they're, they're productive for the system, and it seems like growth in the area is pretty limited as it is. So if, if people were to move into that area and begin disturbing the land, um, my guess is that there would be a decent amount of erosion from the area um, because this, those soils need to be stabilized by the plant material on top, and also they just wouldn't be very productive to begin with. Um, another factor is that any, for any growth to occur on that land after disturbance, it would probably take a, a number of years because just the, new, the, the process of accumulation of nutrients takes such a long period of time that that, that area just wouldn't be very feasible. From there, I'm also studying water. And so water, like soil, is an integrator. Water comes in as precipitation falls through the trees and picks up nutrients and solutes, is usually absorbed into the soil and passes through to groundwater and then flows out through rivers from the system. And so I'm sampling water in, in all the different camps we're going to to try and understand how it's interacting with that system and what influences uh, that the system, if there are dissolved minerals uh, available in the soil, how are those being transported and carried out by the water itself? I'm also looking at overall landforms, uh, and we saw a number of differences between the different camps that we've been working at. Um, Camp 1, for example, was kind of a more low-lying area with more recently deposited material uh, that hasn't really fully developed into uh, soil yet, in my opinion. And so the sites I sampled there generally had organic matter only in the upper 15 centimeters or so or less, and even then the concentrations weren't so high. Whereas in some of the older sites we've been to, uh, hills that are higher up and that appear to have been in place for longer periods of time have organic matter worked uh, over a meter down into the, into the soils, and so those have developed um, more fully through time.